Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we have an application for your iPhone as well as your iPod Touch, iPad, Mac, computer, and also Android devices called At Home Camera. So I'm going to open up At Home Camera, and this is a companion application that you're going to need either a computer, another device, or even an IP camera to use. Because what it's going to do is allow you to use your computer or, say, another device as a security camera. So right here, I already have one of my devices set up, so if I tap on that, it is open up and allow me to watch the live video. So here you can see I have my Mac set up to point out towards the front of our office building, and what I can do now is either mute the audio, so I muted the audio down here below, I can actually record, and this is going to record what I'm currently seeing right into my iPhone's camera library. So once I tap record again, it's going to stop, and I can go into my photos and actually view the recording that I was just watching. If I like to communicate with the person on the other end of the computer, I can tap hold to talk and what it's going to do is use my microphone for my device and output it through the speakers of the other device so I can actually communicate with the person. Go ahead and hit the arrow over and we can go ahead and capture a clip. This is going to just capture a screenshot, save it to my photo library. I can then either choose HD quality or VGA quality. You'll notice that it changes the quality difference. And if I'm on VGA, the stream is going to be a lot smoother, but the quality is drastically going to be lower. And if I hit HD, it's going to be an HD stream as well as the camera on the other end. And I can go ahead and record it there. If I tap up here in the top of the menu, in the bottom in the top right hand corner, you see I can view recorded videos. This is going to take me in where I can schedule recording, do motion triggered videos or videos in my albums. So right now I've got motion triggered videos and you can see that my device has been triggered quite frequently and I can see all those videos here and delete them from my device if I'd like to. Go ahead and come back, we can view videos on our album and this is the video that I recorded earlier right from my device. And then scheduled recordings. If I've rescheduled any recordings, I can see those clips here. And also notice that down below, I can filter by date to view which date I was looking for. Menu, we can see our motion alarms. This is where we can have the camera trigger to automatically record for a certain interval. So you see the interval of time. This is set up for all day recording, but if I wanted to trigger it for different times, so if I wanted it to start, say, at 8 a.m., and my stop time, Let's just say I wanted it to be 12 p.m. I'll set my time for 12. And so now what the camera is going to do is from the times of 8 to 12, it's going to swatch for motion. And I've set my sensitivity to high. I can also disable that to low, normal, or high. And it's going to detect for motion for those specific interval of hours. If it detects anything, it's going to record it. And I can set up two of those. If I switch back on, you see down here now I have a second uh, set of time that I can go ahead and choose from. And I can choose either to get an email alert or push notification. We'll go ahead. We'll open up the menu one last time and then schedule a recording. Same options here. Toggle these switches on and I can choose the interval of time to schedule my recording. Add a video stream. We'll go ahead and come right here. We'll open up the top menu out here in the main menu. And you notice I can add by CID, which is going to be an automatic ID once you open up the application at home camera on your computer or other device. I can scan a QR code or I can search in the network. So I'm going to go ahead and add one by a QR code. I have another stream available on this computer here. I'll go ahead and tap scan by QR code. It opens up the camera and all you do is scan the QR code in the other stream. And it's going to automatically fill in the username, password, and stream name and add it out here to our list of available streams that we can do. So now the camera's been added. Notice out here we have the Hill Media camera now. And if I tap on that, it's going to sign me in and allow me to view that stream. And I'm going to have all the same options that we had earlier on our first camera. So as soon as this connects, you'll be able to see the stream that we're seeing on this computer and then do all the same settings. So here you can see we have the stream and you're seeing myself and we have all of our options down here at the bottom as we did in the beginning. Go ahead and tap quit, it'll menu. And if we ever need to edit a stream itself, we tap on the button on the right hand side of the stream. You see we can change our CC ID number, our username, our password, and we can remember me, which is going to allow me to automatically sign in whenever I enter this device. And I can also delete this device from my list of cameras. And then over here in the side menu again, we have our store where we can purchase some IP cameras. We can recommend the app to our friends, and we can also go ahead and view the ratings and reviews on the App Store. So once again, this application is called At Home Camera. If you like it, be sure to pick it up in the App Store or Google Play Store today.